let's start with our A2 topic for biology. And for the first topic, it's going to be about respiration. Most of my students have difficulties in this chapter. Uh, the students I tutor usually will come to me. Well, they won't be crying, but internally, they just look like they're about to break down after attending a lecture on respiration in school because they will tell me, look, I have no idea what just happened. At school, I just felt like I was bitch slapped <laughs> by my lecturers when I sat for this uh, particular class. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down this chapter into a few parts to make sure that we understand what's going on. So first thing first, what exactly is respiration as a definition? You don't have to know it in detail, but it's good to understand it. It is just the breakdown of organic molecules. Now, the organic molecules that we are focusing on for this chapter are things like carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids. The reason why your cells will actually break down these organic molecules is to release the energy for cellular work. So notice I've highlighted release of energy and also cellular work. I'll explain what cellular work is later. For example, as you can see the glucose, the glucose molecule, when it's broken down by the cells, energy, energy is being released. We will talk about that in a while. So it's also good to understand the flow of energy in nature because this helps us understand where energy comes from. Because one of the important tenets in the law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be created, nor can it be destroyed. So uh, where does the energy come from in the glucose molecule? So we start off with photosynthesis, where light energy is captured by the chlorophyll and it's converted. And through a series of reactions, which we will see in chapter 13, glucose molecule is made. So glucose is a type of chemical energy. For example, when the grass or the leaf here is eaten by the cow, uh, the cow will then have the glucose molecule. And inside the cells of the cow, the cow carries out respiration. And uh, it releases a type of chemical energy known as ATP. I will elaborate on ATP later. And it also releases another type of energy called heat energy. So ATP is that important molecule that is needed for cellular work. So what exactly is cellular work? Cellular work is just, you know, processes in the cell that requires energy. For example, active transport to move particles from a lower to higher concentration against the concentration gradient, movement of the cells, for example, muscle movement, movement of the cilia, vesicle movement, for example, in bulk transport such as endo and exocytosis, uh, and also anabolic reactions. Anabolic reactions are reactions where you build something. For example, protein synthesis and also DNA replication. Now, you must know some examples of the cellular work. They may ask you this in the exam. So like, for example, they will say, why do our cells need ATP? Give us reasons why the cells need ATP. And you can state or list out that our cells need ATP for the movement of cilia. Our cells need ATP for endo or exocytosis, okay, bulk transport. All our cells need ATP for active transport or even anabolic reactions. You cannot just say anabolic reactions. You have to be a bit more specific. For example, DNA replications or protein synthesis. 